वेलकम छ सबै जनालाई आजको यो इन्जिनियरिङ केमिस्ट्री फर्स्ट एक्जामिनेसन मोडल क्वेशन आन्सरमा आजको यस भिडियोमा हामी सिटिबिटी को फर्स्ट इयर फर्स्ट सेमेस्टर को लागि मोडल क्वेशन पहिलो क्वेशन रहेको छ राइट क्वान्टिटेटिभ सिग्निफिकेन्स अफ द फलोइङ केमिकल इक्वेसन सोडियम हाइड्रोक्साइड प्लस सल्फ्युरिक एसिड गिभ्स सोडियम सल्फेट प्लस वाटर यसको एन्सर रहेको छ क्वान्टिटेटिभ सिग्निफिकेन्स अफ गिभेन केमिकल रिएक्सन टू एन एच प्लस एच टू एस ओ फो गिभ्स एन ए टू एस ओ फो प्लस टू एच टू ओ टू मोल अफ सोडियम हाइड्रोक्साइड इक्वल टू एट्टी ग्राम वन मोल अफ सल्फ्युरिक एसिड नाइन्टी एट ग्राम वन मोल अफ सोडियम सल्फेट वन फोर्टी टू ग्राम टू मोल अफ वाटर थर्टी सिक्स ग्राम टू मोल अफ सोडियम हाइड्रोक्साइड रिएक्ट विथ वन मोल अफ सल्फ्युरिक एसिड गिव्स वन मोल अफ सोडियम सल्फेट एंड टू मोल्स अफ वाटर सेकेंड एट्टी ग्राम अफ सोडियम हाइड्रोक्साइड रिएक्ट विथ नाइन्टी एट ग्राम अफ हाइड्रोक्लोर सल्फ्युरिक एसिड गिव्स वन फोर्टी टू ग्राम अफ सोडियम सल्फेट एंड थर्टी सिक्स ग्राम अफ वाटर नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन रहे वन को बी डिफाइन इक्विवेलेंट वेट जीरो पॉइंट वन सेवेन फाइव ग्राम अफ मेटल गिव वन फिफ्टी टू एम एल अफ हाइड्रोजन एट एनटीपी अन ट्रिटमेंट विथ डेलुड सल्फ्युरिक एसिड क्याकुलेट इक्विवेलेंट वेट अफ मेटल इसको एंसर रहे इक्विवेलेंट वेट द पार्ट्स बाई वेट अफ एन एलिमेंट विच कम्बाइन विथ वन पॉइंट जीरो जीरो एट पार्ट्स बाई वेट अफ हाइड्रोजन और एट पार्ट्स बाई वेट अफ अक्सिजन और थर्टी फाइव पॉइंट फाइव पार्ट्स बाई वेट अफ क्लोरिन इज कल्ड इक्विवेलेंट वेट यार वेट अफ मेटल इज जीरो पॉइंट वन सेवेन फाइव ग्राम वोलूम अफ हाइड्रोजन बी वन फिफ्टी टू एम एल डेन्सिटी अफ हाइड्रोजन वी नो दैट जीरो पॉइंट जीरो 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 एट नाइन ग्राम पर सी सी यार वेट अफ हाइड्रोजन इक्वल टू भी इंटू डी वन फिफ्टी टू इंटू जीरो पॉइंट जीरो 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 एट नाइन ग्राम पर सी सी इक्वल टू जीरो पॉइंट जीरो वन थ्री फाइव ग्राम वी नो दैट इक्विवेलेंट वेट अफ मेटल इक्वल टू वेट अफ मेटल अपन वेट अफ हाइड्रोजन इंटू वन पॉइंट जीरो जीरो एट अन सल्विंग जीरो पॉइंट वन सेवेन फाइव अपन जीरो पॉइंट जीरो वन थ्री फाइव इंटू वन पॉइंट जीरो जीरो एट विच इज इक्वल टू ट्वेल्व पॉइंट नाइन सिक्स इज द इक्विवेलेंट वेट अफ मेटल वा गिवेन मेटल नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज टू ए राइट डाउन द पोस्टुलेट्स अफ डाल्टन्स एटोमिक थ्योरी इसको एंसर रहे द मेन पोस्टुलेट्स अफ डाल्टन्स एटोमिक थ्योरी आर अल मैटर्स आर मेड अप अफ एक्सट्रीमली टाइनी इंडिविजुअल पार्टिकल्स कल्ड एटम्स Atoms of the same elements are identical in all respect. Atoms of different element are different in all respect. Atoms can't be created, destroyed or transformed into other elements. Atoms combine in simple whole ratio to give compound. The relative number and kinds of atoms remain fixed in compound. Next question ra ko sab b 0.45 ग्राम अफ मेटल व्हेन डिजल्व इन हाइड्रोक्लोरिक एसिड गिव्स 760 सीसी अफ हाइड्रोजन एट 27 डिग्री सेल्सियस एंड 640 फोर्टी एम एम एच जी प्रेसर द स्पेसिफिक हिट अफ मेटल इज 0.23 पॉइंट टू थ्री क्याकुलेट द एक्जैक्ट एटोमिक वेट अफ मेटल एक्वास टेन्सन गिव एन एट डिग्री सेल्सियस ट्वेंटी सिक्स पॉइंट सेवेन फोर एम एम यार वेट अफ मेटल डब्लू इक्वल टू जीरो पॉइंट फोर फाइव ग्राम वोलूम अफ हाइड्रोजन बी वन इक्वल टू सेवेन हंड्रेड सिक्सटी एम एल प्रेसर पी वन पी माइनस एफ इक्वल टू सिक्स हंड्रेड फोर्टी माइनस ट्वेंटी सिक्स पॉइंट फाइव इक्वल टू सिक्स हंड्रेड थर्टीन एम एम एच जी टी वन इक्वल टू ट्वेंटी सेवेन प्लस टू हंड्रेड टू हंड्रेड सेवेन्टी थ्री कैलविन पी टू इक्वल टू सेवेन हंड्रेड सिक्सटी एम एम एच जी बी टू इक्वल टू व्हाट वी नो दैट पी वन बी वन अपन टी वन इक्वल टू पी टू भी टू अपन टी टू और भी टू इक्वल टू पी वन बी वन 
T2 upon P2 T1 or 613 into 760 into 273 upon 760 into 300 which is equal to 557.83 ml here mass of hydrogen equal to 557.83 into 0.000089 which is equal to 0 0.0496 gram here equivalent weight of metal equal to weight of metal upon weight of hydrogen into 1.008 which is equal to 0 0.45 upon 0 0.0496 into 1.008 which is equal to 9.14 is equivalent weight of given metal again we know that approx atomic weight equal to 6.4 upon a specific heat equal to 6.4 divided by 0 0.23 which is equal to 27.82 now balance equal to approx atomic weight upon equivalent weight or 27.82 upon 9.14 which is equal to 3 exact atomic weight equal to equivalent weight into valency equal to 9.14 into 3 which is equal to 27.4 is exact atomic weight of given atom the next question is 3a define Avogadro's hypothesis so that the molecular weight of the compound is twice of its vapor density this answer is Avogadro's hypothesis equal volume of all gases under similar condition of temperature and pressure contains equal number of molecules vapor density is defined as the ratio of the weight of certain volume of that gas to the weight of the same volume of hydrogen under similar condition of temperature and pressure or vd equal to weight of v volume of the gas upon weight of v volume of hydrogen Applying Avogadro's hypothesis, Vd equal to weight of N molecule of the gas upon weight of N molecule of hydrogen or Vd equal to weight of one molecule of the gas upon weight of one molecule of hydrogen or Vd equal to molecular weight upon two into weight of one H atom since hydrogen is diatomic or Vd equal to molecular weight upon 2 into 1 that is molecular weight equal to Vd into 2 next question sub B what is mole calculate the number of mole in 11.2 liter of carbon dioxide at NTP 20 gram of calcium carbonate this answer is mole amount of substance contains 6.023 into 10 to the power 23 particles is called mole or one mole next question one we know that 22.4 liter at co2 at ntp equal to one mole the one liter equal to one upon 22.4 mole or 11.2 liter equal to one upon 22.4 into 11.2 which is equal to 0 0.5 mole <coughs> next second we know that 100 gram of calcium carbonate equal to 1 mole 1 gram of calcium carbonate equal to 1 upon 100 mole 20 gram of calcium carbonate equal to 1 upon 100 into 20 which is equal to 0 0.2 mole next question 4a define acid and base in terms of Arrhenius concept with one example each this answer is Arrhenius concept of acid and base. An acid are the compound which gives hydrogen ion in aqueous solution. As for example, HCl, hydrochloric acid gives H plus plus Cl minus. Nitric acid, HNO3 gives H plus plus NO3 minus. Base are the compound which gives hydroxyl ion in aqueous solution. Example, sodium hydroxide, NaOH gives Na plus plus OH minus. The process of neutralization from union of H plus and OH minus gives water or H plus 
plus OH minus gives H2O. Next is B. 10 mole of NaOH is dissolved in 10 liter of water. What will be the pH of the solution? This answer is 10 mole of NaOH present in 10 liter of solution or 10 liter of water. That is 1 mole of sodium hydroxide present in 1 liter of water. <coughs> now molarity equal to number of gram mole of solute upon volume of solution in liter or molarity equal to number of gram mole is here 1 upon 1 liter equal to 1000 ml that is 10 to the power minus 3 m is molarity of given solution. Now POS equal to minus log concentration of OH minus that is POH equal to minus log 10 to the power minus 3 which is equal to 3. Now we know that pH plus POH equal to 14 that is pH equal to 14 minus 3 equal to 11. Next question is 5A. Write down the Rutherford atomic model in brief. This answer is Rutherford atomic model. Rutherford bombarded alpha particles emitted from radioactive substance on atom in gold foil and found observation and conclusions as here source of alpha particle is radioactive elements which bombarded on gold atom in gold foil and it causes detector screen so different observation and conclusion are most of the alpha particle pass through the gold foil it means there must be large empty space. Some alpha particles deflected to certain angle. There is a heavy positively charged mass present at center. It occupies a small region. Third, the strong deflection or bouncing back, back of alpha particles by the direct collision with the positively charged mass. Next question is B. Write any two differences between orbit and orbitals. Write the electronic configuration of chromium in terms of S, P, D, and F. This answer is orbit, the circular path around the nucleus in which an electron revolve are called orbit. Second, maximum number of electrons in orbit is equal to 2n square, where n is number of orbit, orbitals, 1. The space around the nucleus where electrons are mostly found called orbitals, 2. Maximum number of electrons is equal to 2 in every orbitals. Chromium atomic number 24, symbol CR. Electronic configuration is 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, 4s1, 3d5. Here in half a state or half field state, d orbital so stability. Therefore, it pull one electron from 4s and exist in 3d5 state. Next question is 6a. Define oxidation and reduction in terms of oxidation number. State with example. This answer is according to oxidation number or electronic concept, oxidation, the chemical process in which substance lose electrons or loss of electron is called oxidation. Example, magnesium. Lose two electrons change into Mg2+. Oxide, O- minus minus lose two electrons and change into oxygen. Similarly, reduction, the chemical process in which substance gain electron is called reduction or gain of electron is reduction. Example, chlorine gain one electron change into chloride, Cl minus. Ferric, Fe3 plus gain one electron change into ferrous, Fe2 plus. Next question is B, balance the given equation by oxidation number method. Copper plus nitric acid gives copper nitrate plus nitrogen dioxide plus water. This answer is air solution. Copper oxidation number change from 0 to plus 2. Oxidation. In nitric acid, oxidation number of nitrogen plus 5. In nitrogen dioxide plus 4. A reduction occurs. Change in oxidation number of copper to change in oxidation number of nitrogen minus 1. Now multiplying nitric acid and nitrogen dioxide by 2. Copper and copper nitrate by 1. We get 
copper plus 2HNO3 that gives copper nitrate plus 2NO2 nitrogen dioxide plus water. To balance nitrogen in a reactant, add 2HNO3 molecule in a reactant. We got Cu plus 4HNO3 gives CuNO3 equal to plus 2NO2 plus H2O. Now, to balance hydrogen and oxygen, add H2O in product. We get Cu plus 4HNO3 gives CuNO3 equal to copper nitrate plus 2NO2 nitrogen dioxide plus 2H2O, which is required balance chemical equation. Next is question 7a. Define alkalimetry and acidimetry. What indicator would you use during titration between hydrochloric acid and sodium carbonate? Why? So answer is acidimetry. The volumetric analysis in which a strength of acid is measured with help of a standard alkali solution is called acidimetry. Alkalimetry. The volumetric analysis in which a strength of alkali is measured with help of a standard acid solution is called alkalimetry. Hydrochloric acid solution may be titrated against sodium carbonate solution using methyl orange indicator because when weak base is titrated with a strong acid solution, it is slightly acidic at one point. Methyl orange is suitable to identify endpoint. Next question is B. 200 ml of 0.8 and H2SO4 is mixed with 250 ml of 0.6 and NaOH or sodium hydroxide is the resulting solution acid or base. Calculate the normality of resulting solution. This answer is 200, uh, 200 ml of 0.8 and H2SO4 equal to 200 into 0.8 ml of 1NH2SO4 or 160 ml of 1NH2SO4. Similarly, 250 ml of 0.6 and NaOH equal to 250 into 0.61 and NaOH or sodium hydroxide. That is 150 ml of 1N sodium hydroxide. <coughs> now, total volume is 450 ml of resulting solution and the acid remaining remains unreacted is 10 ml of 1NH2SO4. The strength of solution is 10 ml into 1N upon 450 ml, which is equal to 0.022N. Here, the solution is slightly acidic. Next question is 8A. State and explain Faraday's law, second law of electrolysis. Faraday's second law of electrolysis. The mass of different substances liberated or dissolved by the same amount of current of electricity are proportional to their equivalent masses. If same current passed through the solution of sulfuric acid, copper sulfate and silver nitrate for same time in series combination then mass of copper deposited upon mass of silver deposited equal to equivalent mass of copper upon equivalent mass of silver. Similarly, mass of copper deposited upon mass of hydrogen liberated equal to equivalent mass of copper upon equivalent mass of hydrogen. Next question is 9a. Define modern periodic law. Write down the advantages of modern periodic table. So answer is modern periodic law. Physical and chemical properties of elements are periodic function to their atomic number. Advantage of modern periodic table. There are 18 groups and 7 periods in modern periodic table. Hydrogen is kept in group 1 or IA along with alkali metals. It is divided into 4 blocks S, P, D and F. Lanthanides and actinides are kept below than periodic table. Metals and non-metals as separate position in modern periodic table. Elements are arranged on increasing order of atomic number. Next question is 9b. 25 ml of sodium hydroxide solution required 20 ml of DC normal solution of HCl for complete neutralization. Find the strength of sodium hydroxide in terms of normality, gram per liter and percentage strength. So answer is here V1. 
equal to 25 ml, N1 equal to what? V2 equal to 20 ml, N2 equal to 1 upon 10 N equal to 0 0.1 N. We know that from principle of volumetric analysis, V1 N1 equal to V2 N2 or N1 equal to V2 N2 upon V1 or N1 equal to 0 0.20 into 0 0.1 upon 25 equal to 0 0.08 N. Now gram per liter equal to normality into equivalent weight which is equal to 0 0.08 into 40 equal to 32 gram per liter. Now percentage strength equal to weight of solute in gram upon volume of solution in ml into 100 or 32 upon 1000 into 100 which is equal to 3.3 percent. Next question is B. Define the term electrovalency. Draw the Lewis structure of sulfuric acid. Spencer the number of electron lost or gained in formation of electrovalent bond is called electrovalency. It is found in generally inorganic compound. Here in sulfuric acid, sulfur form coordinate bond with two oxygen atom and covalent bond with two oxygen atom. These two oxygen atom form single covalent bond with hydrogen or each hydrogen atom bonded with oxygen by single covalent bond as shown in diagram. Lewis structure of sulfuric acid. Next, next question is 10 number. Write short notes on assumption of electronic theory of valency. Electrochemical series of by principle prevention from corrosion and radical. We have to answer or you have to answer any two from them. Here we solve all questions. First, assumption of electronic theory of valency. Capacity of an atom to take part in chemical combination depend upon valence electrons. Atoms try to become stable or duplet or octet state. Atoms lose or gain or share electrons during chemical combination. Atom lose or gain or share electron equal to valency. The attractive force which binds atoms in compound is called chemical bond. Next second, electrochemical series. The arrangement of various electrodes in the order of increasing standard electrode potential is called electrochemical series. The electrode with positive electrode potential show greater tendency towards reduction. The electrodes with negative electrode potential show lesser tendency towards reduction. Third, upper by principle. The electrons are arranged in an atom on increasing order of energy of the subcell. The orbitals having lowest value of n plus l are filled by electrons first. The sequence of filling electrons is in order. At first 1s, then to 2s, then 2p, then 3s, 3p, 4s, 3d, and so on. Next, radicals. Atom or groups of atom having charge on them and behaves as single unit in chemical reaction are called radical. Example, nitrate, NO3 minus, sodium, Na plus, oxide or oxygen, O minus minus, ammonium, NS4 plus. Next is 4. Prevention from corrosion. The destruction of metal surface in environment due to various chemicals is called corrosion. It can be prevented by corrosion on metals can be prevented by applying oil, grease, paints on metal surface by coating or depositing thin layer of other metals, by connecting metal to a more electropositive metal, by forming insoluble phosphate or chromate coating.